<laughs> hey guys, and welcome to our review of Boruto Naruto Next Generations. I'm your host, The Cinderblaze, and with me today we have... The Stratos. And Strange Words. Alright guys, let's jump into our episode for the week. Whoa! What? I jumped. Okay. It is jumping. I jumped. Uh, We're in it. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> for this week's episode, we have um, a bit. Uh, we have an episode that actually focuses on the romance aspect of elementary school. <laughs> I thought that this was this was uh, it started off as like a sweet episode, and then it kind of got psychotic because of uh, magical demon snakes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tends to throw things in disarray. <laughs> <laughs> this this episode made me cringe so hard just because of the I, oh it hurts it hurts because like you you can these, these are definitely things that someone's thought before yeah and you yeah. know it and it hurts <laughs> would you care to elaborate on that realized what well, here, here's the thing for me that, uh, like, it may be something that you can sympathize with, but, uh, that, due to the fact that, it ha like, a horrible evil monster was involved, it's, it's the impact is lessened. That's fair, but, like, it, it really shines a light on the other side of the coin. Like, you get to see what it looks like on the other side, and then you're like, oh... Oh, that's kind of weird. I should not be doing that, sort of thing. Do you care to elaborate? Cause I, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the, uh, the friggin' villain of the week. Like, what do you mean being yeah. on the other side? Yeah, like, like, uh, like being creepy and like internalizing your feelings, uh, to where you've idealized some sort of situation with another person. Oh yeah. Does this relate to anyone? Cause God, it friggin is friggin weird. Let's let's not Cause... deep into someone. Let's not deep deep in this situation. <laughs> not deep to someone. <laughs> no, but like it, it it makes me cringe because I've I've passed a a stage in my life where part of me was like that, and I hate everything about it absolutely everything and it hurts to even remember anything about it that's why i hate that guy so much yeah like <laughs> he kind of pulls it to the extreme he also has like invisibility powers which is kind of like the perfect power to have as like a creeper and he, honestly he had like decent intentions from like the beginning because he's just a kid you know at that age like yes, he's probably not gonna be like forced in that situation and i feel like uh for kids of that age if someone forces you to say like that you know he likes another person in the class or something that's that's never gonna work out well and that's yeah, exactly what happened and he got super pissed because he has every right to in that situation 100 percent. well i mean like but also, I like the 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 lesson of the episode because I don't I don't think that a lot of shows do this, especially like in shonen anime. Hey, you got rejected, but also don't hate the person for rejecting you because it's not their fault they don't like you. Yeah, it is. It, okay, <laughs> well, yeah. It, I mean, like, it's your fault for getting butt hurt about it because it's their choice. They, you you you're not entitled to anything from them. So friggin' move on, and you're you put yourself out there already. You know what not to do next time. Just move on. Just go away. <laughs> do it somewhere else. Yeah, I felt like that was a really uh, not creative, but That's... like I I like the way that they uh solved this demon issue. You know, because like yeah. they uh kind of beat the demon at its source, like the negative emotions that he was feeling, like all the contempt for you know. Right. The breakdown of his kind of ideal relationship it just oh, like no, you you and michael used to use this this term a lot he did he get talk no jutsu 
Yes. 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 You guys. Oh, I feel like one of the one of the Naruto's. <laughs> I'm a I'm a boy. One of them did it, guys. Yeah, but uh, the difference between this Takno Jutsu and the other Takno Jutsus is that um, this had different subject matter. <laughs> So it was kind of, it's kind of refreshing in a way. Like typically that's what Naruto does to every villain, just talks them to death. But he says says the same things over and over again. But this one fits its own situation and I felt like that was that was nicer to see. Yeah. You you know what also hit home for me this episode? Um that part where the fat girl uh And the potato chips uh, in the supermarket. Yeah, she was like <laughs> They were just sitting there, not being bought. So I did it. I bought them because I felt sorry for them. Mo I go into toy stores, <laughs> roll up like, hey man, didn't need to buy this. <laughs> but I felt so bad. So I bought it anyway, and I wanted to check it out. I, uh, it's, and it's actually a really horrible figure, <laughs> but I bought it. Yeah, he, he does do that a lot. But it, it's moments like these where I like appreciate Chocho being her own character because she's like she has personality traits that like Choji didn't really, you know, show off in the original Naruto series. So she's actually like her own character, not just a clone of her parent. I was just like, yes, and I can like kind of relate to her now because when she was like at the supermarket and just like picks the flavor that no one else would that's something i do because i do take pity on like the shitty flavors i'm just like someone tried super hard for this guy or tried super hard for this flavor and i'm just gonna appreciate it and that's oh, man. They, they actually brought peanut anus to market looks like i gotta eat it <laughs> i mean someone jumped through hurdles to get that onto the market <laughs> I've got to do my part and just accept the penis anus. <laughs> no, but like, um, I, if you guys have been listening to our other episodes of this, which um, YouTube Analytics says you haven't, but <laughs> despite that, if you have, you know that I've had reservations about this character. I didn't really like her, but now I'm warming up to her. Uh, the only real problem I had with her this episode was that, like, when she yelled and it, it did all those shout lines... She didn't, she didn't really yell. It was not a loud voice. I feel like she could really lean into her yell a bit more. Oh, I don't really notice that, no, but... That's fine. It's just a me thing. Yeah, it's a, a bit sloppy, but it's it's acceptable. Uh, how'd you feel about the whole lesson about, you know... Like, even after you get rejected, just, like, put yourself out there, just like that damn potato chip. No, I, I feel like I said my piece on it. Like, it was a great lesson. I, yeah. I mean, it's something I wish I had learned way, way longer ago than I really did. So, it's a good lesson to have early on, so friggin' learn it. Understand it. Yeah, and, like, the way she just, like... Put that potato chip in his mouth, and he's just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> that that also, was. Also, she just had another bag. Well, yeah, that's her character because yeah, she has a yeah. potato chip bag in every scene she's in. Yeah. Jordan, I didn't hear any like thoughts from you. What did you think of this episode? Uh, uh, thoughts on the lesson. I get like the only part that interested me was the, the fact that he had like an invisibility as a power because well that was pretty neat. Also the whole beast thing to change to the weird shadow stuff, that thing I'm kind of curious about. But I think it'll probably get touched on later. So I feel like speculation might be a bit too early for this one because I don't think there's many connections you can make to anything from Naruto. Because I don't think there's anything quite like it. Yeah. Like, the, it's... like, like the only like dog sort of thing was the like Kiba's thing, but that's I, if like, that's related, then wow. What if like Why? it's an accident? Like it's it's uh, like it was a lab accident that was uh, released to uh, that was also accidentally released to the Hidden Leaf Village. 
and then the they sent their kid, snake kid, to stop it. No, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I I don't. Yeah, think I thought we were talking about the the demon snake. Yeah, like the weird demon snake stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's related to Mitsuki because I, uh, his parent is uh, Orochimaru, who is. A good d- d- guy, but he's now, also what, like. Uh, what if it was an accident that it got out, and they sent his kid so that he could silently take it out for him. And also, like he he said, Naruto's the only one that can see it. Blah 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 blah. Barto. Barto is the word that I definitely said. Yeah, didn't you watch like the first three episodes? That was the entire moral of those three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> It's so similar, just uh, the names, the names. I don't know about the characters. Yeah, um, I feel like uh, I think I've said this before that um, we can't learn too much about it because we still have to hit Barto the movie, and once you know we get past that, then we can actually uh, learn about more interesting stuff because at that movie he doesn't know a lot of things, so. Well, but I mean, like, for for this, I feel like this this demon snake thing is really just contained to no, uh, Boruto, the like right now, like pre movie sort of thing. Like everything going on now is probably like pre movie. Yeah, I mean, going by what you guys are talking about. Yeah, I mean, it's it's possible, but it feels like it's something too strong for kids to handle. So they're gonna have to have a power up, and they don't get that until they're older. Does it? Is it really that powerful? I, I feel well, like it, just, it isn't all. That unless way. like it's... it makes people super grumpy, and if that's the if that's what it does, the end, then it's probably just. Well, the thing is that it, it all really depends on who it hits. Like, let's say it hits Naruto, which it shouldn't then... affect, but it shouldn't. But wait, why actually? Don't I don't want to open up that can of worms. <laughs> uh, unless it's like strong enough to like overcome the nine tailed fox, then I don't think it's gonna freaking work against Naruto. Yeah. And thank God hey, Sasuke's you... never at the village, <laughs> or has you any. You know what I like this episode, the the scene where like they were they were like it it was the creepy scene where a bunch of the flyers were going. Uh, we're raining down, saying, "Oh, I love you, uh, Hinata." Look alike, and then um, they they kind of grouped up, and one by one they got picked off. I mean, it was a creepy setup, not because it's like the typical like creepy "I'm gonna kill you" sort of thing. It was the creepy "I have feelings for you," and it's manifesting in a very physical and uncomfortable way. And it's making me cringe. Yeah. That's why it was creepy. It, it was a new take. <laughs> a fresh take. On oh, yeah. And it was creepy. also, like, a bit more powerful because you can kind of feel the discomfort on... Oh, oh, uh, oh yeah. On the chick's face. It's just like... 100%. Yeah, and she's, like, the most innocent character. She always doesn't, you know, stays away yeah. from conflict. And she gets, like, dragged in this mess. She's like, oh, jeez. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't this scar her girl. for life, yeah. you know? Which it probably will, and it might come up later, which would be <laughs> hilarious. Uh, but that about like covers this episode, right? I don't think so. Yeah. I it mean, was it was a fairly short, like fillery type episode, but we did get some decent character development out of uh, I, I Cho Cho like and everything. Right now is sort of like the setup we have with the the like every time the snake gets knocked out it adds another flame to its circle yeah you know? but we don't know so i feel like this is set up for like this this entire setup of this villain is for filler specifically for filler so that you could just have it going on in the background as a villain of the week sort of thing and then once it's finally you know gotten all its fire thingies it'll do something yeah it'll evolve into a big snake <laughs> no it, it, it'll pan out like everything will go on fire it'll pan out and it's actually 
this much bigger seal that needs more flames on it, and it'll continue for years. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, I feel like it doesn't really uh, have much of a threat at the moment. It's like, yes, we see like this mysterious thing in the background, but I don't care about it, which yeah. they need to fix. Like, If they showed how many there were, then I would care a bit more, because it's just like... No, like the no. total amount. We never oh, see the okay. total amount. We only see like a corner of it, but if we see like, oh, that's five out of the ten, then we just like count mm. like, oh shoot, yeah, like, like five more episodes, count. something's gonna happen and something's yeah. gotta build up to it. But I feel like they just wanna take it as slow as possible, which is fine as long as they don't like completely just like have a, like the shittiest writing ever. <laughs> Which yeah. is kind of hard to do in a school setting because they have so many things to pull shit from. Right. All right. I think that any closing remarks from you guys? I don't oh. have any. Uh, one actually one possible connection I thought up of at the last second: the weird beast that Naruto summoned had a snake tail. Boruto. Boom. Boruto. Ha! <laughs> Come on, what? dude. Boruto summoned hey. a, um a monster with like a. It was like a monkey. Oh! Yeah, it was like an ape yeah. thing with the snake tail. So that's so possible, maybe possibly. But anyways, that that's the only thing that came to mind after a few after a bit. Right. Yeah. How did he pull that out anyway? He didn't like create a relationship with it. Uh, Online BS. Yeah, like he's always had this power that comes with his eye, so it probably has to do with. That since he can see snakes, he probably has a connection to the snakes, and that's how he summoned something that had a snake similar to it. So, that's... so if I see dead people, right? Does that mean dead people happen? I mean, you might have some connection, but like it's <laughs> it's not like a direct correlation. It might be something else that connects the things. So okay. Yeah, that's how it's working for now, and I feel like that's perfectly fine. Um, right. That wraps up this review, I guess. So, uh, take a swing at that like button, comment down below, and oh, subscribe. Yeah. Go, to your computer. Go to your computer with a bat, and just take a swing. Take a swing at that like button, and, and tell us what happens. Yeah, I am not responsible for any damage that occurs to no, you no, or fine. your... Um, podcast listening device <laughs> but if it's spectacular please film it and we might watch it but uh, <laughs> also check in our description for all of our social media uh, information except for Jordan because he's a, a poo and if you do manage to like break your uh, listening device just make sure to send it to us via the social media links down below yes definitely uh, Yes. Send it to my deviant art. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Send yeah. It to my, to my uh, MySpace. <laughs> yeah, and his LinkedIn. All right. <laughs> that wraps it up. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.